Good morning, everybody from the Canada delegation. The CSIA uses a skills-based approach in our observation, assessment, and development of skiing. The three skills directly relate to what the ski can do on the snow through rotational, edging, and pressure control. The interplay of these skills is how we achieve specific outcomes on snow. For today's demonstrations, I'll use our skills framework to describe what you're seeing. In the first run, two of our demonstrators, Tracy Fraser and Kyle Armstrong, are skiing together. First, in a drifted medium speed turn, towards the bottom, we'll take a more carved approach. For us, drift simply describes the tail of the ski traveling on a longer arc than the tip of the ski, creating resistance and a slowing effect on the snow. Drift exists on a scale from lots, leaving a light and wide track on the snow, to none, meaning the tail is following the tip or carving. Both skiers are on the same vehicle, a slalom ski. However, Tracy is going to ski regular and Kyle in switch. To achieve the same outcomes, the skis must do similar things. However, based on their orientation on the ski, the skier's move movements will differ. This emphasizes our prioritization of function over form. Through independent and complementary leg extension and flexion, a bending of the outside leg allows the center of mass to begin to travel over the base of support once the desired direction has been achieved. The center of mass rises and falls on a subtle arc as it travels across the base of support. However, it is not intentionally pushed up through a great deal of extension. Rotation of both femurs at initiation of the turn is used to create a steering angle relative to the amount of drift required for the objective and in concert with the realities of the environment, such as the degree of pitch and snow conditions. The rotational aspect is where the movements vary between skiers and between skiers as Kyle will be externally rotating the outside leg while Tracy is internally rotating the outside leg. The blend of edging, rotational and pressure control movements keeps the center of mass, base of support aligned to take advantage of the ground reaction force resulting from the ski's interaction with the snow and the subsequent reaction of the snow pushing back. Transition to a more carved turn requires left drift, less drift and allows the skiers to take advantage of the ski design of the ski. Thank you.